amidst this brave new world of black and white television sets, 12 inch, wall to wall carpeting, and fiberglass curtains. <laughs> An abomination in the sight of God! <laughs> but fiberglass curtains. The buzzword was contemporary. <laughs> now, this is uh, my, my auntie visiting my mother for afternoon tea and my mother's good bacon. And they were talking about their younger sister. Oh, no, I'm not wanting another meringue, no. No, I will not be tempted. No, no, no. No, I'm all hoved up. <laughs> Just give us a cup of tea. Well, that's her get herself all up to date now, eh? Aye, through our old stuff. Went all contemporary. She got a line, a line out of Bremner's. <laughs> Beautiful three-piece sweet, cherry red, uncut <laughs> bouquet. <laughs> That's them writing the script again. Huh? <laughs> you could write this yourself. She'll be happy now she's got all her orders. Happy, no half. She's deleterious. <laughs> and another innovation around that time was the home perum. <laughs> uh huh. It was called the Tony. <laughs> and it was advertised which twin. <laughs> There's some of them out there that are old as me. <laughs> now, a Thursday night, that was the auntie's night. They would start off, they'd have their high tea, and then <clears throat> they would wash their hair in the kitchen sink. The five of them, you see. Eh, that was with a, with a green fairy soap, of course. <laughs> oh, shampoo hadn't been invented. We thought a conditioner was a Bob Martin's. <laughs> And uh, sitting there waiting for their perms, who was the permer? Me. <laughs> and God help me if I got it wrong. <laughs> right, I'll pass you up the wee papers. Now make sure you get them to the very ends. I'm not wanting my tips, frizzy. <laughs> pulling my hair again. <laughs> she knows my scalp sensitive. <laughs> I hope this turns out like a bubble cut. <laughs> the woman up the road for me, she's got the very latest style. The Italian boy. <laughs> Is it nice? Oh, it's lovely. Disney go with her big Glasgow ball face, but... <laughs> My God, the smell off that perm lotion. <laughs> it's like cat's piss. Oh! <laughs> get the towel, get the towel, quick. <laughs> it's when into a wee chap my head. <laughs> Oh. Oh. God, I've been sitting here for half an hour. Time for a cup of tea. Has it no time for the neutralizer? I 
think it's time you did a wee test, Carl and mine. <laughs> they buried Chrissy Clark last week. <laughs> Is she dead? Well, I hope so. They buried her last week. <laughs> There's no sign of a curl there. That test curl's no taken. I'd leave that on another half an hour. <laughs> oh, well, it was a happy release, a happy release. Of course, you know, she took a good bucket. <laughs> to take a refreshment was respectable. To take a good drink, not respectable. If you took a bucket, you were beyond the pale. <laughs> Was she not married? Don't you know you're thinking of Jessie Clark? No, she's still running the Minaj. <laughs> no, Chrissy Clark, Chrissy Clark. She cremated three men. <laughs> Did she? Aye. Do you not remember who Agnes saying, God, some women can't kind of get a man in there? She's burning them. <laughs> in the back of my neck. Dab it, dab it. <laughs> of course, I'm no one to stay in front of the wheel. <laughs> but that last one, you know, that was a marriage of convenience. <laughs> of convenience. <laughs> uh, 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 big people's business. <laughs> Just you go on with the permanent. Eh? Little donkeys have long ears, eh? <laughs> 